bugs, bacteria, trillions of bacteria in the colon, how the immune system interacts with these bugs, and advanced technology have opened up new possibilities in cancer treatment. Cynthia Sears, a molecular microbiologist at the Bloomberg Kimmel Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy, or the BKI, is studying the microbiome, looking for ways to improve patient response in the ongoing attempt to unleash the immune system against cancer. Colon cancer is a preventable disease, and that's an important message because if you are screened, if you are diagnosed early and have surgery to remove the tumor, the vast majority of those patients do very well and are cured. But it's when cancer is discovered late, which is true of all cancers, that therapy becomes more difficult. We've known for a long time that the bacteria in the colon can certainly influence disease in the colon. But over the last 10 to 15 years, um, we've learned that this mass of bacteria, there are trillions of bacteria in the colon, and it's the largest group of organisms or bugs that people carry, uh, influences how healthy we are people have begun to search for the links between changes in this mass of bugs and both local disease in the colon and uh, systemic disease as well. Uh, the idea that all these bugs in the colon in particular might influence colon cancer dates back almost 40 years. So it's an old idea brought into the mainstream by advances in technology that now allow us to get more specific about what we're seeing. The revolution, if you will, started with some simple observations in obesity. It appeared that there was an imbalance in certain groups of bacteria in the colon and that if you affected that balance, you might actually be associated with weight loss. While that initial concept didn't fully hold up over time, it began to raise interest, as I mentioned, in how all these bugs in the colon may be influencing your metabolism systemically. And recently, this was extended to cancer. The idea was tested that the mass of bacteria may influence how chemotherapy works, may influence the function of the systemic immune system, not just local immune systems in our uh, mucosa of our body. The suggestion that the composition of the bugs in the colon might be important to whether or not a person responds to immunotherapy. Immunotherapy has exploded onto the scene of cancer therapy and arguably may be one of the greatest advances that we've seen. However, the response, no matter how good, the responses are still inadequate. There are many cancer patients who do not respond. Is there a way that we can either predict who we would use immunotherapy on in the sense that it's a very expensive therapy and if we can target patients more efficiently that's good for everybody probably and saves patients toxicity potential toxicity from the drugs or can we even better fix it so that we would be able to change the microbiome to the correct one that would enable the patient to respond to therapy when they need it. So the hope of the BKI is to take these principles and do excellent translational research to investigate whether or not we can find linkages to ways to enable immunotherapy to be more effective. And one possibility based on this recent science is that the mass of bacteria in your colon may make a difference.
Well, our hope is that we are going to be able to identify specific linkages between groups of organisms, bacteria, microbes, in the colon or the mouth at, that then we can harness to become either ways to help as an adjuvant to cancer therapy or a preventive to try to prevent the progression of disease or prevent the occurrence of cancer. Now that's a big, long goal, but um, you gotta, you gotta reach if you wanna, if you wanna attack cancer in particular.